Zebra Zamps, iPad test number two, simple physics. This demonstration shows an application built with the current Zebra Zamps editor, in which we have four ovals interacting with physics objects on an iPad 3. The three ovals start locked inside a box which contains them and the bottom line of the box is subject to a zebra zap slider which opens and closes and can release the objects. Not only do the ovals interact with the accelerometer but they also interact to touch. Let's see how this application was built. First, using the Zebra Zaps editor, we'll sketch the four walls which will contain our ovals at the start of the application. Quickly doing copy and paste, we're creating four rectangles and laying them out as we'd like here in the center of the stage. Now we'll take and draw our four ovals. Here we'll turn their fill color to black, size them, and create three additional copies. Next we'll draw a slider. Our slider will map left and right to the X position of the bottom rectangle. Here we're doing a little trick inside Zebra using the, the wiring. We're taking the current value for the X position and binding it to the start and end value. We'll move the bottom rectangle around and then connect it. Here we've gone halfway. Now we'll unbind it manually move the rectangle over to the right, bind its current X position to the start value, and then once we've connected it to the current value of the slider, it maps as we would like. Let's quickly show that with message centers out of the way. The final step is to sketch how we might want the physics engine to interact with these objects. We want the walls to be immovable, but to be impediments to the oval, so we'll turn the inertia true for that. And again, we're showing how this might work in the future by turning inertia and movable to true for the ovals.